waiting at a bus stop in Arizona's blazing sun can be at times pretty darn miserable, but the city of Phoenix is soon going to be rolling out hundreds of new bus stops. They are designed to have shade in mind. Yeah, otherwise it's pretty brutal without it. These bus stops, they were created with some high tech design tools, but not by some fancy firm. Our Derek Stahl is live tonight. Derek, you say uh, for Smarty Pants from ASU, they are getting all the credit on this one tonight. Yeah, some Sparty Pant uh, undergraduates at ASU. Uh, the city plans to install 400 of these new bus stops over the next five years. They'll start by uh, replacing stops that are damaged or in particularly busy areas. That means what started as basically a little classroom competition will soon help millions stay cool. This is our bus stop that we created and designed for the city of Phoenix. ASU industrial design students Erland Melling, Ethan Fancher, Dan Duquette, and Derek Smoker spent two months on the design. One of the concepts that we played around with was that of a sundial where no matter what time of the day, there's always shade. We're uh, proud to say that we're casting shade uh, in some capacity at all times of the day. And not just a little shade, it's a good amount of shade. They ran computer simulations to back it up. Their bus stop is also ADA compliant, vandal resistant, and easily customizable. If you're having problems with like, let's say, west facing sun, then you can turn this piece as for seating, if we do do seating, it will be a single person seat because we also found in our research that even if there is one person sitting on a bench of, say, three people, two more people won't sit down next to the stranger. The students won a design competition at ASU, then landed an internship where the four worked together to revamp their design from scratch. It's a high profile job. There were 32 million bus rides taken in Phoenix last year. Being industrial designers, helping people is the dream. Just being able to tell anybody I made that when we drive by it is a very uh, humbling but also really cool experience too. Yeah, and these things are expected to last decades, so they'll be able to say that on the drive by for quite some time. Uh, the students were paid an hourly rate for this, an intern rate. They, w they do not own the final design. It was all done in an open source way. That way, other cities pick up this design for free, and the students say they like it that way. Reporting live, I'm Derek Stahl for Arizona's Family. All right.